welcome to the video seller. I'm Liz Tobin from Vivino Wines, Spanish wine specialist. Today I want to talk about buying Spanish wines. There are a few tips and tricks you can read from a, a Spanish wine label that will help you to buy what you're expecting to buy. First thing is to look where does the wine come from? So we're looking for uh, possibly on the back of the bottle um, a regional logo, a regional stamp. So this is a Rioja and this is Rioja's uh, quality wine label. When we see that label, um, we are assured really that this wine has met all of the quality regulations, which are very strict per region. So we know it's a quality wine. The next thing, um, what determines the price of a bottle of wine? Well, one major factor is how old is the wine? How long has it been aged for? So we're going to try three wines today. Uh, the first one is a young wine a hoven. So look out for the word J-O-V-E-N on either on the front label or it would be on the back label. Now this tells us it's a young wine, it's had no oak aging at all, uh, so this is the cheaper end of the, of the scale. You can get really nice uh, young wines and these are the wines that are the fresh drink now wines. So what we're looking for in a young wine is really nice fruit uh, and I always look for a balance of fruit and acidity. I don't like wines where the acidity knocks you, knocks you for six almost. Um, it's all about enjoying the fresh fruit. So this is a young Rioja. It's Largo Soto Mayor. This only came in yesterday. Uh, it's a fabulous young wine. So if we look at the colour, another thing we're looking for in a young wine is really vibrant colour, a nice purple. This indicates that the fruit is good and fresh. If you see that the wine is slightly darker or it's, it's, it's not looking as bright as it should, it's probably past its best or it's been stored badly. Second thing to expect from young wines is a really nice aroma. Yeah, immediately this one gives off the beautiful. Here we've got red cherries and raspberries and strawberries. So that's what it should be, lots of fresh fruit. On the palate. Mm. So immediately you should be getting the fresh fruit. It's all about the fruit, it's not about anything else because there is no oak aging. I look for a pleasant balance of zingy fresh fruit, nicely balanced alcohol and nicely balanced acidity. So, so it's the fruit that dominates. That's a really nice example of a, a young so going up from the young one then, so that's the drink now, enjoy now, fresh fruit. Going up to the next one, we're looking at a crianza. So look out for the word crianza, might be on the back label, that's C-R-I-A-N-Z-A. -A. And that tells us that this has had a bit of ageing, okay? So by law, uh, it must be aged um, six months in oak to be called a crianza. They, can, they will age it for a further two years in the bottle, but six months of those must be in oak. So the fact that it's in oak, we need to expect a bit more from this wine. We're expecting perhaps better flavours, uh, different flavours actually. We've still got the fresh fruit, but we're looking for uh, perhaps more depth of flavour. Because it's had, the wine's had time to rest in the oak and make contact with the oak. Colour-wise, um, it should be slightly darker than the hoven, and that's telling us that it's slightly more mature. So if we give it a swirl, we've still got the nice fruit. Um, it's slightly more mature fruit, so it's not zingy and fresh, it's just slightly more kind of cook style, not too much. But I am noticing we're starting to get uh, hints of the oak, toasty type, kind of warm aromas. Very nice. Mm. On the palate, again, expect a little bit more. I'm definitely noticing more tannins, um, a little bit more depth of flavour, and certainly more body. So that's what you should be expecting from a crianza. This one actually goes to ripe uh, black cherries on the palate. It's very nice, and really subtle hints of oak. Very nicely balanced. So that's a crianza. Expect to pay more for the crianza. At least two or three pounds more than the, than the hoven. 
The next one is the Reserva, that's R-E-S-E-R-V-A. Again, it might be on the front of the bottle. This is a Rivera del Duero, to Gallery 101, uh, or maybe on the back. Again, we've got the regional stamp there, so we know it's a quality wine. A Reserva, to, be, to call it a Reserva, they have to have aged it for 12 months in oak, and then a further three years in the bottle. Again, many producers will go further than 12 months. They might be 13 or 14 months. Um, that is completely their choice. So now we can expect something interesting from Reserva. We are expecting greater depth of flavour, certainly much more on the aroma and different flavours. So perhaps not the fresh fruit, uh, we're looking for the cooked fruit, perhaps nuances of other things, maybe spices, that kind of thing. Definitely, the pro definitely more body and definitely a different colour. So a much, much deeper colour here. Here we see um, going from the dark, dark purple to maybe a slight, slight tinge of brown. Mm, really warm aroma. That's really nice. This smells um, almost lactic to me. Something sort of milky. Milky and fruit. So all sorts of things to, to smell from a, from a reserva. Often it's nice to decant it, leave it to rest, to enjoy it to, at its best. Let it, let it open up. It's been 12 months in oak, it needs time to open up and breathe. Mm. Lots more to enjoy in a reserva. Lots more body, lots more flavours. I'm getting kind of hazelnutty flavour from that. And something slightly balsamic vinegary. Mm. So, much more exciting because it's had time to develop much more time than the Crianza and the, the Hole. So again, expect to pay uh, two or three pounds more, perhaps five pounds more than, than, than the Crianza. They, the winemaker has spent a lot of time uh, keeping this in barrels, moving it from barrel to barrel to get the exact flavour they're looking for. So I hope that helps. Um, remember, Joven, drink now. Crianza, expect a little bit more. And Reserva, enjoy to its full because it's got a lot to offer. Thanks for listening. I'm Liz. If you have any questions, drop me an email, hello at vi-vino.co.uk.